Hey everyone, how are you? So I tried upgrading my Angular dashboard to Tailwind CSS version 4 because it's top of the town and I always want the latest and the greatest. So I went to the upgrade guide on the Tailwind CSS official website here and they had a nice little migration utility that they said that you it's going to do the heavy lifting for you and migrated. I ran that after some changes and uh, the result was my nice looking dashboard that you see here actually converted into this, okay? So it completely broke my app. The styling was completely off. You can see the forms are off like this. So it was a nightmare. But the good thing is I fixed it after a few changes, after a few installations, and I finally got to figure this out. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. There are some extra steps required for Angular projects. And I'm also going to show you how to do it for Angular Material because Angular Material requires SAS for its theming. But for the Tailwind team, it's not recommending that. We don't use SAS anymore. So I'm going to show you how we can do both in one project. And a quick reminder that uh, my dashboard here has now been updated to Tailwind CSS version 4 and Angular version 19.2. And all of the code is now available on my Angular shop. Uh, you can find the link in the description if you want to get that. And if you get that right now, you're also going to get lifetime updates for free. Okay, so let's start this migration process from the state that we were current previously in. So that would be my dashboard with Tailwind CSS version 3 installed. So I'm going to follow a two-step process. And the first step in this would be the official migration that Tailwind has provided. So if you go to the upgrade guide on Tailwind CSS version 4 documentation, you'll say that if you'd like to upgrade a project from version 3 to 4, the Tailwind team recommends that you run this migration tool. Now, even though this is not going to do a complete migration, I still want to run this for Angular projects because of two reasons. The first reason is that this is going to migrate our tailwind.config file. So if I show you the tailwind.config file here, this config file has our configuration for the colors and for the dark mode, etc. And our plugins, which we are actually using in the application. Otherwise, I'll have to do all of this manually if I don't use this migration tool. The second thing is that this migration tool also will migrate or will change all of the classes, the deprecated classes that are there in my application automatically by detecting the templates themselves, okay? Otherwise, I'll have to do all of them manually and for large projects, this can get really tedious. So I really recommend running this migration tool at least once. So then you can have the major work done, okay? All right, but one main issue for Angular projects in this case is that this migration tool only works on CSS files, okay? Now, as it happens for Angular projects, and especially for Angular Material projects, developers often use uh, SAS files for styling. So our main styles, not SAS file is there. So then how can you use this with the migration tool? Well, what you can do is that if you're using a styles or SAS file, you can shift all of your Tailwind related stuff in another file. Now, as it turns out for this dashboard, I had already divided up this earlier on due to different reasons but it has paid off in the long run because I did not need to do any separation here. So you can see I'm importing Tailwind here for Tailwind CSS version 3 in a separate file. So all I needed to do was that I just needed to rename this. So I'm just going to rename this Tailwind.sass to Tailwind.css and I'm going to rename this import to this as well. Okay, so now SAS can use CSS all they want. CSS cannot use SAS, so this is going to work fine, all right? So now we have a CSS file in our project containing all of our Tailwind related sort of imports and functionality. We can now run the migration tool. So let's run this migration tool now and let's copy this here and let's see what happens. Okay, so I need to make the git uh, uh, repository clean here. So I'm just going to push this here so we can have a clean working directory. All right, so let's run this again and let's see what happens. Okay, so now you can see that it's doing something and it has changed some files here, okay. And it's also updating the dependencies here now. So you can see that it searched for the CSS files. It found the tailwind.css file that we had and the tailwind.config file, which we need to migrate. Then it migrated the JavaScript config file. Then it migrated the templates to the non-deprecated versions of the classes that it were needed. It migrated the style sheets that were needed. And then it had updated the package, okay? Great, okay. So the first major change you're gonna see here is that the tailwind.config is no longer here. So if you go in your files here, you will see that tailwind.config is no longer here. And there were a lot of changes in tailwind.css. So if you go in tailwind.css, you're gonna see that it's going to import tailwind here like this. And it has plugin, custom variant, dark. It's using CSS here and it's defining all my colors here in this way. So this is the major change that happens. And the second change is that it made some changes in my different templates here. So you can see that it has, for example, if I go to the widgets panel, 
you can see that it made some changes here for example yes it made the change z2 and z2 here like this okay so this is your major work done but if you try to run your app right now let's run our app right now and see what it looks like first we get an error here on this so i'm just going to comment out this line here because this is giving me an error this is to initialize the colors but i guess we don't need it at this point so now it's compiled now and now let's go back to our application and see what it looks like and you can see our application does not look quite right here okay so the drag and drop is working so the functionality is working but the styling is completely off nothing it works in the style because almost all of the styling is tailwind based in my application okay so you might come across this don't panic because the second step in the process is where we are going to make tailwind version 4 work for angular project specifically okay okay so the second step in our process is actually to go to another link which is sort of hidden deep within somewhere on the tailwind site and that is install tailwind css with angular which has angular specific instructions if you want to install the latest tailwind css version 4 this process has changed a bit and that is why we are not getting tailwind version 4 to work just by the migration script so it says here that you can create a new project that's fine and you need to install tailwind css now you can see that we install tailwind css post css as well and then post css separately as well so we need to install all of these things so let's just copy all of this tailwind is already installed let's just install the rest of the stuff as well so let's just call this here okay so now you can see in your package.json you can see here now that you have tailwind post css so post css now comes now as a separate package within the tailwind css namespace here okay so you need to install that okay great so this step is done now the last step is that we need to actually create a new file here and this is a crucial step so you need to specify the tailwind css post css plugin here in this file so let's copy this here let's create a new file here in our source folder here okay let's create a new file here let's keep the name exactly as this and then within this we are going to copy this plugin here let's build it again now make sure to build this again and not rely on hmr because sometimes the changes are not propagated in that way okay so now when you try it out you can see that my dashboard is back to its former glory and all of the tailwind classes are working okay at least most of them are working now what you need to do is you need to actually find out the limited areas where you know the changes are not there so for example in my case when i drag and drop here you can see that i remove some padding here so in that case what i needed to do was that i needed to go in my widgets in my widget component here and i just needed to make this important so that the padding applies in all cases apparently it was being overridden by some reason so i'm just going to save this and you can see here now that this padding is now appearing fine so and in this case you can now visually check your application for any small things that are left that you need to do but in my case i could verify that everything in the material thing works great the material styling also works great and tailwind also works great here okay so in that way you can keep working with angular material on its SaaS based apis and also get tailwind to work as it used to work before great so i hope you found this short video useful and you can get your tailwind css version 4 get up and running with angular material or an angular application if you like this video and you want to support this channel the best way would be to buy any of the apps that i have on my store the link is in the description this dashboard code has been updated to the latest version and you can get it right now so thanks for watching and i hope to see you next time with another interesting video